What's going on guys? Welcome to the Boo Boo Crew. Now today, I wasn't really sure what kind of video I wanted to film, so I decided I would do a quick overview of my bow. What I shoot, what my setup is, and the products that I use for it. The bow I shoot is a Mission Craze. It's built by Mission. Mission is built by Matthews. So basically, a Mission bow is a cheaper version of a Matthews. They bring the characteristics, the quality, and the craftsmanship of a Matthews bow and put it in a cheaper package. They make quite a few youth bows that are really nice, as well as a few adult bows that are really nice as well. My sight on here is a Trophy Ridge React 5. The React 5 is a five pin sight adjustable. Trophy Ridge uses a technology called React Technology that allows you to sight in your 20 and your 30 yard pins and not have to do any more. And you already have your 40, 50, and 60 automatically sighted. Super cool technology that they developed. They don't make this particular sight anymore, but they make a lot of new versions and variations of it. The particular version and variation of this sight is the Trophy Ridge H5. They also make an H4, which is a four pin. The rest that I have on my bow is a Ripcord Code Red Rest. It's a really nice rest, it's $100. It's nothing too special. They make a couple variations of the, the Ripcord Rest. Um, they all pretty much do the same thing. The price, a little steep, like I said, it's 100 bucks, but I've never had problems with it and it shoots very accurate, very straight. I don't get any fish tailing in my arrows, which is a big thing that I've seen happen with like whisker biscuits and other things like that. So a drop away for me is a way to go. And a rip cord is a cheaper version of a good drop away rest. QAD is the other big one. They're more expensive, somewhere up in the $200 range. My stabilizer is a Limb Saver S coil. It's a $25 stabilizer. Super cool because it's cheap, but it's very effective to make a bow very quiet. My quiver is a Fuse six arrow quiver. I don't know the model on it, but it's a six arrow quiver. It holds six arrows. The arrows I shoot out of it are Hunter 400 spine arrows. They are made by Gold Tip. My broadheads are Rage two blade expandables. They're two inch cut, super cool. I haven't shot any deer with these particular ones yet, but last year I did shoot a deer with an inch and a half version of this. Did devastating damage. So I love Rage. I have Boning Blazer Veins, pretty popular on a lot of guys' arrows. And then I shoot Nocturnal Lighted Nox, again, pretty popular. I shoot the red variation and I really like that. I also have another arrow in my quiver and it's a Easton Power Flight. And it, um, it's also a 400 spine arrow, but I use it as my varmint arrow. Nothing special down here, plain veins, plain knock, but there's a broadhead on it. It's a muzzy four blade, 100 gram broadhead. I shot at one squirrel this year, but I missed. Anyway, haven't had a whole lot of luck with my varmint arrow, but I carry it with me just in case. That's my bow setup. That's pretty much what I shoot. Another thing is I have a little wrist strap down here. It says Matthews on it, catch us if you can. I used to have a braided wrist strap, but I didn't like it because when it dry rotted, it snapped and broke, and I didn't want that again, so I got the elastic wrist strap, and it's really adjustable and it's nice. I have a peep sight that does not have the rubber strand thingamajig. It just looks cleaner like this, and I like it better than that big bulky thing. Kisser button, a couple string dampeners. Shout out to Lancaster Archery for putting a really nice custom string that they made on this bow. I bought my bow at Lancaster Archery Supply. It's a local supplier, but also a worldwide supplier as well. Uh, love those guys, they did a lot of good stuff on this bow. Uh, they built the string, pretty much bought everything there except for the sight. And along with the bow, my release is a True Ball Max 4 Pro. I love True Ball. It was expensive, like 90 bucks, but uh, it was worth it. I've had it for three years, never had any problems. Shot almost all my deer with it, and I just love it. I love a handheld release. That's how I like to go. That's my bow setup. That's what I shoot. And if you guys want any of the stuff that I shoot and have on my bow, links in the top of the description. You can go check them out there. And if you're a new subscriber, go down below, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss another video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Catch you later.